Hey, JNM here, and today I want to show you a new feature of my free Blender FBX export add-on for exporting game assets materials. Okay, first let's have a look at the problem. Here I have a hard surface model in Blender, and as you can see it has two materials assigned for different parts of the mesh, which is nice to get an impression on how the model will look like in the end when it is textured. But now I go ahead and export the model as FBX with the default FBX exporter. I go to File Export FBX and I just export the selected objects, only the mesh and I apply the transform. This is the standard way of exporting. And when you import the model then in an application like Substance Painter, you can see that for each material a texture set is created, which can be regarded as a feature because it helps assigning materials then in Substance Painter. But on the other hand, when you bring the model then into a game engine like Unreal Engine, then you have two materials, or better to say you have the same number of materials that you used in Blender. And as we game developers know, this is not good for performance. The best thing is to have one material per game asset. Okay, so here is a solution. The Batex add-on has an option now to export the model with one material only. But anyway, you can keep all the materials that you added assigned to your mesh. Okay, so how is it done? Well, let's have a look at the Python code. Here's the code of the add-on in VS Code, and I added a new bool scene property called OneMaterialID, which is taken into account in the Batex export class. I assign this here in the constructor to a member variable and I also have a dictionary and a list to store materials. I will explain this in a moment. Okay, here's the method do export, which is called when the button export is pressed and then all the selected objects are exported. What I do now is to call this new method remove materials and this removes all the materials except the last one of the object that we are currently exporting. And in this method I check how many materials are assigned to the mesh and if we have more than one material and the option one material ID is checked, I create a B mesh from the current mesh and then I can loop over the faces and store for each face index the material index of the face. So this is stored in the dictionary that I showed in the beginning. And now I loop over the materials of the mesh and store these to a list called materials, also a member of the class. And in the same loop, I remove the materials of the mesh by calling the method pop except for the last material. So we have one material left that is going to be exported with the mesh. All right, then the export is executed for the current object. And then I check if we removed materials. And if this is the case, I call the method restore materials. This is also pretty simple. Here I reassign the materials that we stored to the materials of the object that we just exported. Then I update the object's data. But again, we have to create a B mesh from it so that we can reassign the material indices to the faces. Then I update the mesh and go back to object mode. Okay, and when I import the mesh then into Substance Painter again, you see there's just one texture set created. And then you can create layers and masks to texture your model. And when you're done, you can export these textures for just one material. In this case, I export the textures for Unreal Engine 4. You can see these here, the ambient occlusion, roughness, metallic and the normal map. And of course the albedo for the base color. And then in the engine, you have a model with one material and the appropriate textures. But still you can go back to Blender and the materials are there and are assigned to the mesh as you created it. Well, and this is what I wanted to show. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, add these to the comments and I will try to answer these as best as I can. If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Support me as my patron and I see you in the next one.